Let's go ahead and expand on this program. Instead of guessing a number between 0 and 10, let's try to guess a number between 0 and 100, so 1 through 99. Guessing a number between 0 and 100 will take us a while if we don't know how close we are to the number. So let's add in an if statement that shows whether our guess is too high or too low. So first, let's change the random value numbers. So now we want our ran random value to go to 99, so that will guess numbers between 0 and 98. And when we add 1, that will be numbers 1 through 99 that we would be guessing. So try and guess a number between 1 and 100. This is going to generate a random value, 1 through 99, and we're going to try to guess that. So while the guess does not equal the random integer, it's going to ask us to try again. And then it's going to have us guess again. But before it asks us to try again, we want it to say whether it's too high or too low. So if the guess is less than the random integer, we want it to say too low. Your guess was too low. Else, you're going to say that the number was too high. We can use an else here as opposed to another if because in this loop, the numbers are not equal to the random integer. So they can be one or the other. They can either be lower than the random integer or higher than the random integer. There is no in between for that because if it's equal, it's going to skip this and just say that the answer was correct. So if the guess is less than the random integer, system.out.println, your guess was too low. Else, it's going to say your guess was too high. Then we want the program to try again and take in a new guess. So let's go ahead and run this and see how it works. So I'm going to split the numbers and I'm going to say 50. I got the answer correct right away. Wow, what are the chances? All right, I'm going to split the numbers again, say 50. My guess was too high, try again. I'm going to split 0 and 50 in half, so now I'm going to try 25. I'm still too high, so I'm going to try 15. It's still too high, I'll drop down to 10. Still too high, try 5. I got the answer to correct. If I try 50 again, my answer is too low. So now let's try 75. It's still too low. How about an 85? 90? 95. Now it's too high, so it's between 90 and 95, so I'll go back down. 94, 93, 92, the answer was 91. Now could you imagine if I had to attempt to guess 91 without knowing whether it was too high or too low? If I started at 1, it would take me 91 tries to get the answer correct. While well, I was here, it took me a little more than 10. So while the guess is not equal to the random integer, while this statement is true, it's going to test if it's too high or too low, and then it's going to ask you to try again. Let's say that I wanted to count how many times it took me to get the answer correct. We're going to add some kind of counter in. So we're going to have to initialize the variable. Let's initialize it after the guess. So integer, and we'll name this counter. 
and we're going to start that at 1 because once we get our first guess, that's going to be one try to get it correct. And then once we guess again, we're going to want to add to that counter. So counter plus plus. That basically means add one to the counter. So we're adding one to this integer. While the guess doesn't equal the random integer, once it goes through this and asks you to try again, it's going to add one to that. So now the counter is two. So we'll go back up in this while loop, if you didn't get it correct again, and add another one. So now it's three, and so on. So at the end, we're going to want to display what the counter is. So system.out.println it took you and then we're going to say counter because that will be the integer tries. Now once it says that we got it correct it's going to tell us how many tries that it took. If we got it correct on the first guess the counter is set to 1, so it will display that it took only one try. In other cases, the counter will not be reset back to 1 because it's reading from top to bottom. It gets set as 1, and then it goes into the while loop, and it will continue in this while loop and never go back up to the counter being equal to 1 again. So it will continually count in this while loop until we get it correct. And then it will display that we got the correct answer and never go back up to this counter. So as long as we initialize the variable outside of the while loop, this will not be a problem. If we initialize the variable somewhere in here, say right before the if, we said that the counter was equal to one. Each time the while loop ran, it would go back and see that the counter was one. And then even if it adds one back to the counter, it's resetting the counter each time. That's why it needs to remain outside of the while loop when we initialize it. Running the program, let's guess. So that was one time we guessed. It was too low. That was our second time. Our third time. Our fourth time. And that was our fifth time. So it took five tries to get the answer correct. So I guessed 50. 50 was less than the random integer. So it said too low. And then it asked me to try again. And it added one to the counter. Then I guess 75, 75 was too low, asked me to guess again, and then it added another one to the counter. And then I guessed 85, and that was too high. So it asked me to guess again, and then it added another one to the counter. So each time I guessed, one was getting added to the counter.